Captain James Polk here at the Marion County Sheriff's Office with your daily crime report on Taco Tastic Tuesday. We received a call from Lake Owens Jiffy on East Highway 40 stating that a black male attempted to purchase items from the store using numerous credit cards and he was in possession of a large amount of credit cards. The vehicle was last seen uh, at the store. It was stopped by Deputy Wilkes and K-9 Deputy Bowers. They responded along with K-9 Cadet who conducted a drug sniff and alerted on the vehicle. Upon searching the subjects and the vehicle, deputies discovered approximately 15 credit cards with numerous different names on them ranging from Ohio all the way over to Maryland. The vehicle also contained approximately eight to $10,000 worth of new clothing, shoes, jewelry, and perfume, and a grinder with marijuana in it. Property crimes detectives are currently conducting interviews and I'm sure that they will make, be making several arrests in that case. Someone stole a 2012 Honda four-wheeler, a 2013 Big X trailer, and a John Deere blade from the yard of a home in the 2600 block of Northwest 100th Street in Ocala. Total loss there was $10,000. Detective LeVay arrested Benjamin Thomas for entering the front porch of a home in the 1400 block of Northwest 47th Street on two separate occasions, stealing items he later recycled and sold to a pawn shop. Good job there, Detective. Someone attempted to enter a home in the 18,000 block of Southeast 17th Place in Paradise Island, causing $500 in damage to a sliding glass door, but was unable to gain entry. Good. Uh, they did steal $700 worth of wiring and copper from the outside of the home, however. We had an unlocked home that was in the 12,000 block of Southeast 63rd Avenue that's in Bellevue. It was entered and someone stole a pressure cleaner valued at $370. Detectives Spillman and Osborne at it again. They arrested Michael West after he broke into a home in the 2500 block of Southeast 50th Terrace and stole cash, jewelry, and cashed a check for $300. Jewelry valued at $800 was recovered. Good job by those detectives. Someone entered a home in the 5800 block of Southwest 63rd Place Road through an unlocked window and stole a television valued at $2,000. Deputy Labor uh, responded to the 16,000 block of Southwest 27th Terrace Road in Marion Oaks to investigate a domestic violence. As he was trying to talk to the victim, William Brown became verbally non-compliant and refused to follow orders. Uh, the officer attempted to handcuff William, but he began to physically resist and punch Deputy uh, Labor in the face, at which time the deputy deployed his taser. Uh, the officer was able to get the subject on the ground and placed him under arrest. He was transported to the Gold Star Hotel without further incident. That's all for your Taco Tastic Tuesday. Please like us, share us. Don't forget to download our app if you haven't already. And we hope that you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you tomorrow on Hump Day. Thanks for watching.